Being a member of Taylor Swift's inner circle has its perks, but there's also a downside. Mess up even once, and you may find yourself on the receiving end of some Swift backlash. It doesn't take a super fan to know that Selena Gomez is the original member of the Taylor Swift squad. Their friendship has spanned over 14 years, from taking the stage together at packed arenas to defending each other in the press. Gomez revealed during an interview with KISS FM UK that out of all things that could have brought the pair together, it was their mutual love for the Jonas Brothers that finally did it. At the time, Gomez was dating Nick while Swift was dating Joe. But the pair meeting just as their careers had begun to take off was only one of the reasons their friendship overcame Hollywood hurdles. In an interview with E! News, Swift explained why their bond has outlasted the test of time. Both of us have kind of, have kind of stuck it out and hung in there through all the different changes we've gone through. Carly Kloss went from co-starring in Swift's Bad Blood music video to actually having bad blood with the singer. The Victoria's Secret model was once seen glowing in the VIP tent at the singer's show, but has since been docked to general admission. So what exactly could have led to their rift? Well, their friendship started out sweet, literally, as the singer gave the model a shout-out in a 2012 Vogue interview, writing, I love Carly Kloss. I want to bake cookies with her. So did Kloss, apparently, as she tweeted back to Swift, taking her up on the invite. The two seemed to have an instant connection. They walked the Victoria's Secret fashion show runway together, went on road trips, and even attended the Met Gala. It seemed like nothing could come between the tall blondes, but eventually something did. Whisperings of a falling out began in 2018 when the model seemingly made reference to a Katy Perry lyric on Instagram. This may not seem like much, but the song Kloss was referencing, Swish Swish, is widely considered to be about Perry's feud with Swift. Kloss denied any beef between the pair in multiple interviews, admitting they were still close. While Swift never publicly addressed the situation, Situation, she wasn't seen at Kloss's two wedding ceremonies to her husband, Joshua Kushner. Many fans believe her absence could also be due to the model's close relationship with Scooter Braun. The nail in the coffin had to be Kloss attending her former friend's era's tour without VIP status. Viewers caught the model enjoying the show in general admission, which is certainly not Swift Squad behavior. Taylor Swift's squad isn't limited to just the women that graced her Bad Blood music video. The singer has forged friendships with other A-list artists, including Lord, Hyam, and Ed Sheeran. Swift's connection with Sheeran began in 2012 when the pair collaborated on her track Everything Has Changed. Swift returned the favor for Sheeran a decade later when she lent her voice to his track The Joker and the Queen. The Englishman got candid about their bond in an interview with Rolling Stone, admitting, "...she would be there if everything ended for me." Lord also appears to be part of Swift's girl gang, as as the two have been friends since 2014. Lord even joined the folklore singer on stage during her 1989 world tour, as the two performed a remix of her track Royals in 2015. The singer also posted a screenshot of a text from Swift, in which she raved about Lord's melodrama album. The Hyam sisters are also reportedly in the Swift squad after collaborating with the singer on her track No Body No Crime. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Swift had this to say about her friendship with the sisters, "...I'm the fourth Hyam sister now, confirmed. We can't figure out why we hadn't collaborated sooner, but it took a song about avenging your friend's murder to give us the idea to take this step." My friends are so different. They're they're in different professions, different vibes, but the thing that they all have in common is sincerity. It's no secret that Taylor Swift has a fair share of former Victoria's Secret angels that make up her squad. So much so that she may need her own pair of honorary feather wings. While she may be on the outs with Carly Kloss, Swift is good friends with former Victoria's Secret angel Lily Aldridge. The pair connected at first over music after the singer attended a Kings of Leon concert. Aldridge's husband, Caleb Folliwill, is one of the band's members. We are a really nice group of women that support each other and really genuinely like have each other's backs. Swift is also close with former Victoria's Secret models Gigi and Bella Hadid. Gigi also co-starred in the Bad Blood video years ago, telling W Magazine, "...it was a big, amazing thing to be a part of." Cara Delevingne is also an original squad member, first meeting Swift in 2013 and having a friendship with the star for over a decade. The Victoria's Secret model supported her friend in 2023 by attending a concert in Arizona for Swift's Eras tour. Blake Lively and Taylor Swift first connected in 2015 after the actor shouted out the singer via Instagram. At the time, Lively posted a photo of L'Oreal's marketing photo for a lipstick collection, featuring Julianne Moore, Naomi Watts, and John Legend. The star wrote, "...so turns out this wasn't a video shoot for John Legend's cover of Bad Blood." While some fans took that as shade directed towards Swift, Lively admitted that couldn't be further from the truth. Shortly after that, she posted another Instagram photo of herself rocking out at a 1989 tour stop along with her husband 
husband and niece. Lively wrote in the caption, Um, whoever thought I was throwing shade clearly doesn't know I have a Taylor Swift please be my wife voodoo doll. The two have gone on to meet up in Australia and celebrate holidays together. Swift has even formed a special bond with Lively and Ryan Reynolds' daughters. The singer featured the couple's oldest daughter James on her track Gorgeous, leading to the cutest reaction from Reynolds and Lively when she performed it live. Lively also directed Swift's music video for her track I Bet You Think About Me from the singer's re-released album Red, Taylor's version. The actor later received her first CMA nomination for Music Video of the Year for her skills directing the music video. Emma Stone and Taylor Swift's close friendship goes all the way back to 2008. After supporting each other at various movie premieres, galas, and shows over the years, Stone told Vanity Fair she couldn't be happier that she got to see her bestie during her eras tour. Stone said to the outlet, I was lucky, because we've been friends for a really long time. I've known her since we were 17 and 18, so she hooked me up, which was very nice, because I know those tickets are impossible to get. She's a wonderful friend. She blows my mind. Fans also believe that Swift's song When Emma Falls in Love from her album Speak Now is about Stone. At the time, the La La Land actor was dating Kieran Culkin. Swift sings in the track. She waits and takes her time because Little Miss Sunshine always thinks it's gonna rain. Some fans took this to be a reference to Stone dancing along to Natasha Bedingfield's Pocket Full of Sunshine in the film Easy A. The singer has since admitted she wrote the song about one of her best friends but didn't explicitly say who. Regardless, it's clear Swift and Stone are on good terms. Swift opened up about their friendship in an interview with Access Online, saying, It's just so important to have people that you trust, and Emma and Selena and I, we've had so many things in our lives that have changed over the last couple years but our friendship has stayed the same, so that's really good." Lena Dunham is an original Swift Squad member as the girl's producer was featured in Taylor Swift's infamous Bad Blood video. Dunham has been a big supporter of the singer's career, raving about her Red album on X, formerly Twitter, after the record's release in 2012. She wrote, "'Update, Taylor Swift's album is triumphant. If she'd been here when I was in college, I would have written papers on her, not Sylvia Plath. And what better way to solidify their friendship than to include Swift in her wedding? The singer was one of Dunham's bridesmaids when she tied the knot to her partner, Louis Felber, in London in 2021. The artist made the cut alongside eight of Dunham's closest friends and family members. Dunham told Vogue, "'You can have a far bigger wedding with less bridesmaids, but I guess it just speaks to how excited I was to have my close friends there. And you know, to be able to celebrate something joyful and use it as an excuse to be together was very special.'" Taylor Swift is a big Ice Spice fan, so much so that she reached out to the rapper to collaborate with her on a remixed version of her track, Karma. According to audio released by Spotify, the pairing couldn't have happened more naturally. I had been listening to her nonstop, like getting ready for my tour, I was just listening to Ice Spice constantly. Swift then added, So I immediately got her number and said, Hey, would you want to do your version of Karma? Do you relate to this? She jumped in head first. The track debuted on Swift's album Midnight's Till Dawn Edition. Ice Spice also performed with Swift on stage for three tour stops in New Jersey, where they showcased the joint music video they starred in together. The rapper admitted that beyond the music, she and Taylor have formed quite a friendship, she told The Guardian. She's so sweet. I was so obsessed with how humble she was and willing to work. She gives me so much advice. We talk all the time, and she's so funny. It's safe to say that Spice is officially squad status, with the pair seen chatting at awards shows when they're not rocking out on stage. The rapper told Variety, of their friendship, quote, "...that's my sis." She even added that she got tons of tips and career advice after watching Swift's Netflix documentary, Miss Americana. The media just can't seem to get enough of Taylor Swift's budding relationship with Kansas City Chief star Travis Kelsey. Ever since the singer showed up to cheer him on in the VIP box in September, Swifties all over the world are now becoming football fans. In addition to her dating life, the paparazzi can't help but notice her newfound friendships with her fellow VIP Kansas City Chiefs fans. She's been getting cozy in box seats next to Kelsey's mother, Donna, and Brittany Mahomes, the wife of Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes. I heard she was in the house. Mahomes and Swift have been chumming it up in the stands, so much so that the pair even have their own secret handshake. The two were even caught on video celebrating a Chiefs touchdown with some moves of their own. And while we're not sure what is required to be a member of the Swift squad, it seems like Mahomes is the newest addition to the exclusive girl gang. Swift even invited Mahomes for a night out in New York City alongside other squad members, like Selena Gomez and Cara Delevingne. A source told Us Weekly, Britney is having a blast hanging out with Taylor and her friends.